Hey, what's up, guys? We're back in again to level up our memes to level 16. Every elite barbarian is asking himself, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the finest elite barbarian of them all? But the answer today is obvious. It's the mean, pristine, level 16 elite barbarian. With Valkyrie and Mega Knight nerfed as well, I don't know what's gonna stop him. The same goes for the Royal Recruits. With Valkyrie and Mega Knight nerfed, not as much splash damage, so they're gonna thrive. Those 300 Spartans are gonna take over the map and completely control the game. They're definitely one of the most difficult cards to deal with in Triple Elixir because if you don't have enough splash damage, the swarm is unstoppable. It's like having an entire football team and your opponent's tower is surely gonna be sacked. I've got Dark Goblin, Heal Spirit, and Rail Recruits to all debate out our opponent's log. If they log on the wrong thing and I can go for a mirrored up Elite Barbarians with a Heal Spirit that they can't finish off, their towers are going to get ransacked. Also, a level 16 Dark Goblin does not die to log either. The new buff to Mirror is bound to put our opponents in a ton of problematic positions. So let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance. Thanks to everyone that's using Creator Code Sir Tag and supporting the channel. All right, so getting into this game against Axel, I am ready to pop off with the level 16 cards. I'm gonna go for Dark Goblin in the back. Maybe we can get a log out of our opponent. And then if we get a log out of him, it stinks in here. I can potentially go in for like Railhog's Heal Spirit. Oh, he's gonna poison. Yeah, so that's pretty good. No Fireball in Cycle, obviously, unless you're crazy with Poison and Fireball in the same deck. So I'm gonna unload with my Piggies, and I think that the Heal Spirit's gonna jump out of the tower and heal up the Piggies too. That Snowball was not good enough, my dude. That's devastating amount of damage right out of the jump. 1,500 damage lead. We will 100% take that. So I'm gonna E-Barbs here. I'm gonna get ready to rear up with my Recruits. I think that this is a good play. Maybe it's a really good play if he goes in for Spear Goblins and doesn't have any distractions right now. He's going to have to spend more Elixir on Elite Barbarians now. There's no way. You're going to have to spend a little bit more Elixir. What is it going to be? You're king incarnate! Skeleton King! Awesome! That's a 4 Elixir investment, and he already used Spear Goblins, so now he's down a ton. I think that the level 16 Elite Barbarians might be able to make their mark in territory right now. Oh my goodness. Come on, Elite Barbarian. Put in the work. That's what I'm talking about. He is a massive football boy. He took and tanked for everything. So the only thing that's bad for me right now is I don't have a good way of shutting down that cannon cart. I guess I can go in for like a arrows here and then pray that the spear goblins don't do too much damage, but Tactical Nuke incoming! We're taking a lot of damage on both sides, guys. So credit where credit is due. Well played. He did drop the two elixir graveyard on my right hand side and devastated me. He's giving me a little bit of BM, so you know what? Axel, we're gonna bounce back. When that happens, when you laugh at me, it just motivates me to play better, bro. We got this. I can go for recruits in the back and then build up a big push. The one thing I dislike is the Skeleton King is a little bit broken. Clash Trial should have 110% nerfed that card. Do not know what they were thinking with that thing, but it is what it is. I think we can get a Heal Spirit down and then have the uh, counter push be pretty good. I maybe should have dropped the Dark Goblin in front of my tower so I didn't lose my entire tower there. That is a slight oversight on my end. It is what it is. Oh, the Dark Goblin locked on the tower. That's a vibe. You know what? gonna spear goblins so it doesn't seem like he has a good answer to the royal hogs so if i can take the tower on the right hand side we're still vibing yo you're overspending you are 100 percent overspending out here i can arrow make sure that the piggies are gonna do enough damage to the point that i will be able to take the tower in the right hand lane and i wonder if he's gonna just poison yeah he does good stuff that's what we're hoping for now because if the poison's out of cycle we can come out to play and spam everything in every single side let's go guys i'm here for it elite barbarians with the heal spirit and I've also got arrows as well on top of the spear goblins and the skeletons. I think the e-barbs are going to go straight towards the tower. This guy was a dirty sir BMing me, but we bounced back. And I can piggies in the middle, have them go towards the tower and just have all the power. This is definitely going to be a W. And all he can do is laugh because he knows that he was a little bit of a clown BMing us expecting to win. We got three crowned out here. The level 16 elite barbarians do pack a punch. So jumping into this one, we're going to cycle zappies in the back and we're going to get ready and geared up for an awesome defense. If this guy goes in for an Ice Wizard, he's probably going to end up having a Graveyard deck, and it's going to be one of the most grave situations possible for him because we've got Dark Goblin plus we have Mirror. So if he arrows away the first Dark Goblin or poisons or fireballs it, we've got his brother back in line. So that's a ton of damage with the Piggies. Obviously, if your opponent doesn't end up having Valkyrie anymore because Valkyrie got a nerf or they don't have Mega Knight, this deck is extremely toxic. Also, I can go for Recruits here. They're going to be able to body block the Baby Dragon and devour all of the Skeletons from the Graveyard. This guy's got underleveled graveyard. That's interesting to see because, you know, I've got overleveled elite barbarians. He's probably not ready for this. Show there with a level 13 win condition. I've got a level 16. No big deal. No big deal, my dudes. In fact, I think he's going to barbar on this, and then he has nothing for the heal spirit. So usually what they're going to try to do to fill the counter the elite barbarians is like a Valkyrie. 
and then they'll go in for a bar build to finish off the heal spirit. But since I've got two heal spirits right now, level 16 heal spirit, those elite barbarians are never going to die. That is ridiculous. We were able to completely swarm the skeletons from the tombstone, and the skeletons are usually supposed to swarm us. That's uh, kind of flipping the script in a couple seconds. So I'm going to go for Royal Hogs here. I think this guy left the game. I don't think he wants to play anymore. Quitter, quitter, quitter. There's no way, right? He's just gone. He said, my towers are gone. Why do I want to play this game any longer? I've got a graveyard win condition, and I can't even touch your towers. Hey, so jumping into this one against real boxing. Dude, are you ready for a fight? These e-barbs are ready for a delight on your tower. So I might be able to go in for the Royal Hogs whenever I get the opportunity to, but... It's probably better for me to just play defensive, right? Like, we don't have Royal Hogs in our starting hand, so I don't even have the opportunity to at the start. But we see a Battle Healer, and after the nerf to Mega Knight and Valkyrie, maybe Elixir Golem will be a lot stronger now. It's a bit scary to even think about. So I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin off to the side. I'm going to get ready and geared up for an amazing Arrows. If I can end up hitting the Blobs and damaging those down and Heal Spiriting here, I think we can vibe because the Dark Goblin will be able to thrive for sure. Look at that. Okay, so we shut it down. Not necessarily the best because he's got Arrows. Ah, oh, I was hoping the Dark Goblin would stay alive and we get counter push. I said, look at that. And then right when I said that, my entire counter push got destroyed in a second to arrow. So that is what it is. But looking back at the game, it doesn't seem like this guy has any plans of defending. Help me. No. Like he has taken so much damage from the Zappies. He's ignored everything and put me back into a position of power. So now we can rail hogs on the other side. He's going to not defend it because he didn't defend Zappies. So he's just going to let that go. And he's going to 100% all in me. Wait, are you kidding me? Why would you why would you defend that if you, okay, I'm very confused this guy defends some things But he doesn't defend other things. It doesn't make sense. He is a very peculiar and interesting person So yeah, he's gonna try to probably mirror up the battle healers That's what I think people are gonna try to do in this meta. We'll see how well it works out I'm gonna go for arrows here and then I can go in for zappies afterwards or I could go for rare recruits The best part about elite barbarians is they shred everything even though it's a dirty elixir golem player And they're usually playing on the elixir golems team. They don't care they take it all. They're greedy and surreptitious sirs that seize every opportunity that they can get. Maybe I can go for a Rail Hogs here because it seems like with the Barbara out of cycle, it's going to have a limited amount of answers to the heal spirit so I can heal up the piggies and do even more damage. Yo, look at the recruits on the King Tower too. So he's 110% going to all in me right now. That's a fact of life. But I think I can three crown him right now. <laughs> he's going to Elixir Golem right now. I feel it. So I'm going to go in for a heal spirit. I'll go in for Elite Barbarians, I'll eat all that damage, and I will also go in for a Dark Goblin. Because I want to be able to destroy the Battle Healer as quickly as I can. Yo, is he not going to do it? Is he not going to go in for more aggression here? He is so petrified that he is focused on defending. For good reason, too. He would have lost that Elite Barbarian. Is he still going to lose the Elite Barbarian? I think he's still maybe going to get 3 crowned. <laughs> I'm having a little bit too much fun today, as you guys can see. I'm going to go in for Mirrored Up Elite Barbarians when I get the chance, and 3 crown the dirty and disgusting Elixir Golem player. Wow, I didn't even get the Leap Barbarians on the map. I didn't even get the chance to go for my level 16 E-Barbs. The Royal Hogs sealed the deal immediately. All right, we're jumping into this one. What's up, dude? We're going to sauce out of good luck and figure out what your deck is before we devastate you with the Leap Barbarians. I feel like E-Barbs are just a criminally underrated card by most people at pro level because they're like, you know, it's always distracted. It's always stopped. But when people don't expect it and you mirror it up and it's even stronger than it was before, that's where I think that this deck will actually thrive. Also... You know, Valkyrie got a nerf, so it might even die to the recruits here. I don't know. I just can't wait to find out. Also, I guess I'm a little bit scared about the fact that Archer Queen is still very strong and not nerfed near as much as it should have been. It is what it is. We can go for Zappies to hopefully reset the Queen. She's going to do a ton of damage, though, regardless. I might have to go for a Heal Spirit here to minimize the amount of damage that he gets. Just because I can't let that lock onto my tower or my Dark Goblin. Oh, the recruit's going to give him one hit on the right-hand side, but the Dark Goblin locks on a tower. Dude, if you think about it, you went for a Miner on my tower, that Miner's going to get like 300 damage. That Dark Goblin that you refused to defend, it did 700 right there, man. So <laughs> you do not have your priorities in check. You do not have your priorities in check at all. You even went in for an Electric Spirit, so you spent more Elixir than me, and you weren't able to stop it. So that's beautiful. I'm going to go in for recruits on the back, and we're going to build up a big push, and whenever we see the Valkyrie out of cycle, we take that opportunity, and we throw a lot of stuff at our opponent. So I'm here for it. Okay. So, I might want to go in for Royal Hogs in the right-hand side, because I feel like that might be the better chance if he goes in for the Valkyrie on the left. Oh, he doesn't. I didn't need Valkyrie on the left, because the tower was lower there. That's interesting. I guess it didn't matter where he dropped it. The recruits were going to die regardless, but if we mirror out the recruits, level 16 recruits are coming through. No Valkyrie, no Tesla. What you going to do, bro? You're going to poison. Okay. I, that's a respectable play. That's, that's pretty respectable. I can Zappies here, and then I can Royal Hogs, though. 
So I'm going to rail hogs in the left because it looks like he's going to probably use the queen in that lane. And then he's going to log as well. So he's spending a lot of elixir. Without the log and cycle, I don't think he has an answer to the heal spirit. The heal spirit is going to keep those piggies alive forever. Look at that value, guys. This game's over. There's no way. There's no way that you stop that. They even bounced through the delivery. That's so disgusting. <laughs> That's so much fun. You know what? I'm going to be a true trooper and I'm going to let the archer queen lock on just so I can go for recruits. It's way better to do this because I have defense on both sides now and I don't have to stop and spend more elixir on top of the Valkyrie or anything else that he drops. If you want to go for a miner, that thing's going to get shredded in seconds. And wow, guys, here we go. This is the moment. This is the time that you were all waiting for. The level 16 elite barbarians. And they just completely surrounded the queen. I don't think he has an answer to stop this. If he goes in for a Valkyrie, is it going to die to level 16? It did. That's, that's disgusting. That's actually straight up disgusting. Killing a Valkyrie and an Archer Queen on her opponent's side of the map. Like, what are they supposed to do? Like, uh, how do they stop that? I guess, I guess it's simply not possible. The overleveled advantage is too strong. GG, well played and peace out, man. It was a pleasure playing against you. It was a really fun game, and the guy was a pretty nice person at the end. Hey, so jumping into this one against Alberto, I feel like this deck is absolutely dominating for us today. It's so much fun to play. Switching it up and playing something completely different that Clash Royale has never experienced before. It's weird, though, because, like, these card levels are crazy clutch. Being able to shut down the Valkyrie in the last game, I did not expect that to work so well. So I want to heal Spirit and then go for... Oh, wow, that heal spirit was worthless. Not only did it not kite the rail ghost, but it also jumped down to something that was not existent there. So, gotta give myself a round of applause for playing terribly the worst possible decision that you guys have ever seen in your lives. Wow, Dark Goblin almost came up clutch, though, to finish off that. You know what? Ebarbs, I choose you. Kill the Battle Ram! And then also get on top of the Magic Archer. Usually, you can't drop your Battle Ram counters, like, really far up because if they don't do enough damage... The battle game gets so far away that you aren't able to counter it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ebarbs, I choose you. Let's go. Level 16. Level 16. I don't think he has a good answer to this besides P.E.K.K.A. And then the P.E.K.K.A. gets countered by Zappies or they get countered by the recruits. There's no way. There's literally no way. Despite me being a potato and missing everything that I possibly could have with that heal spirit. We kill a Rail Ghost. We kill the Electro Wizard. And we deal damage to his heart and his soul and his morale. Like, there's no way that you can look at that and be like, okay, one Elite Barbarian at half HP, that's fine, killing six worth of Elixir of value. Oh, wait, no, I can't even do math correctly. That was seven worth of Elixir of value. It got more value than both Elite Barbarians combined in that offensive push on our opponent's side of the map again. This is just stupid. I feel like it shouldn't be allowed. All right, I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin here because it's able to snipe the Magic Archer. Oh, no. I got a little bit overzealous. I'm a bit ahead of myself, but... Can we kill that on his side of the map too? If he doesn't have Pekka and Cycle, how's he supposed to stop the Elite Barbarians? I think we saw it last time that he didn't have a good counter to this. So, you know, might as well rinse and repeat the transactions, my dudes. Let's go. The second Elite Barbarian is going to be even stronger though, because I've got the buddy, the mobile Pokemon Center of the Heal Spirit. This is going to be awesome. I'm here for it. Let's go. <laughs> We're doing so much damage and he zaps, right? Like, what is he supposed to do now? He's giving us the oopsie. He's like, oh, well, that didn't do anything. Now I have no Elixir. So, I can go for Recruits at the river if I really wanted to, or I can go for Zappies in the back and build up a bigger push. There's so many different possibilities for us. The possibilities are limitless, and I feel like the possibilities for this man are confined in a corner and he can't do much. So, I'm going to go for Recruits. Uh, if he doesn't have a real Hogs counter, we definitely want to go in for that, but it's better for me to go for Elite Barbarians because it's so tough to defend that if you don't have P.E.K.K.A. If you don't have P.E.K.K.A. in Cycle, I think Elite Barbarians become one of the best cards in the game. No cap, this card is crazy. So yeah, that's just going to take his entire tower again. Like, seriously, it's just stupid. <laughs> I'm going to leave Barbarians, make a prediction they would spam more stuff with that. And uh, yeah, we, we kill it all at the river again. Part 17, dudes. I'm going to go for Zappies because I want the Magic Archer to lock onto that instead if possible. That would be awesome. That would be optimal. If it gets two hits though. Oh, jeez. Okay, guys, we're making it spicier and making it closer for the content and for the memes. That's the only reasonable explanation, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> totally not a terrible player here by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, man. Sometimes I just play really poorly, but I don't think it matters. We've got level 16 piggies. Even if we're going into all of your stuff, even though you got a bandit and electro wizard, you can't stun, you can't stop me, and we are inevitable. We're snapping those towers, snapping our fingers, and we are cruising up the trophies. All right, so we got a game here. This guy's a pretty good clan, too, so I got to focus up and try my absolute hardest. Obviously, if I go for Rail Hogs at the start, there's a chance that he's going to end up having a Mega Knight deck, but when we see Fire Spirit, I'm going to expect him not to have Mega Knight. So I'm going to tank it for the 
heal spirit and then try to get some damage with my piggies. The piggies are going to get healed up and they're going to give us way more power. Also, rail delivery out of cycle, cannon out of cycle. I know exactly what the deck is too because it's going to be the Archer Queen fast cycle deck that everyone and their mother is playing. Without your best answers, the level 16 piggies are here to thrive. Look at how much damage I got. I forced out the Archer Queen ability, so now you can't even go undercover against the recruits. Wow, this deck is so much fun to play. Like, the unexpected events that your opponent has to face, it's extremely problematic for them. Also, I'm able to defend both sides at the same time and get stellar counter push. Being able to shut down and defend is not something that this man was expecting. He was like, okay, I can click my Archer Queen ability and win the game because that's what I'm used to doing. But that's not how it works, bro. I'm able to dangle and shut down both sides. Also, the Dark Goblin is staying alive, staying alive, forcing out more elixirs so then he can thrive. Oh, please get a log down. Please get a log down so I can E-barbs on the other side. Oh, he has to log this. Why isn't he logging? Bro, I just want to E-barbs on your tower and have the munch munch. Not gonna let it happen. We should log on this if he's playing this well. I guess that was my bad, maybe? I No, it was definitely his bad for, for doing that. It was gonna get shut down anyway by skeletons and cannons, so I guess I got a plus one interaction with my heal spirit baiting out a log when he actually shouldn't have dropped it there. Um, I'm gonna go in for zappies. Not necessarily gonna be the best play on my end, but it is what it is. I do have to arrow to prevent the damage. This is a ton of damage from him. I guess out of everything in the game, if I don't have Elite Barbarians, Rail Hogs are going to be an issue for this deck. And I think it's important to highlight that. You can't have great matchups all around every single time, 24-7, 365. I think that this matchup that we're currently playing against is going to be very problematic. But if you get a good start like we did, maybe you're still able to win. All right, so I'm going to go for Recruits here. I 100% need to drop them a little bit further back because he's going to click the ability. I don't want my Recruits to get too far ahead of themselves. He's going to Earthquake as well, so he's spending a ton of Elixir. You know what? It's our time, bro! Level 16 recruits at the river. This has to work, right? This is too dumb not to work. I'm set up for success out here, baby. Hitting the fire spirit. Oh, if it jumped on the dark goblin, that would have been too funny. It's going to go in for the rail delivery. <laughs> and he meets all of his family in the worst possible way. This is the worst family reunion ever, my man. Oh, I should have done that. I think I should have done that. But is the leap barbarians going to lock on the tower? Oh, no, 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 no. That should have done him. Oh, no. If I go in for rail hogs at the same time he goes in for rail hogs, can I win the game? Because... I need to take a tower here. I can't defend my tower. I got to go all in. I got to risk it for the biscuit, guys. We're going with everything I have here. I think this is the right play, and I might be able to take the tower. I did make the right play. Let's freaking go. And he can't Archer Queen in the pocket because there's Archer Queen on the map, right? So that's not going to happen. I do need to do this. I'm still going to lose, right? There's no way I can stop the piggies. I dropped the E-barbs to stop the queen as quickly as I could, but now the piggies are on my tower and I'm in a bad spot. This is bad news bears out here, guys. What a crazy game. What a wild adventure that we're embarking on here. It's been a lot of fun, though. All right, uh, I can go in for the recruits. Honestly, I think I'm going to lose this, though, <laughs> because he's able to defend with rail delivery and he's going to archer queen in the same side, so I don't see any real way of breaking through this. I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to go for recruits in the back, but uh, this is so sketchy. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go dark goblin here. Uh... I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of a way to make this work. If I can E-barbs on top of the queen, I can shut that down, and then I can go in for real hogs here, so then maybe the piggies are going to be able to take the priority. Hopefully that works out, and then I can heal spirit and heal everything up. Oh my gosh, the piggies are in the tower. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? No way. I actually am still in this game. This is absurd. This is absolutely fundamentally ridiculous. He might archer queen in the middle, so I need to be prepared for that. Is he not going to go in? Is this man just... Sitting on his back foot and trying to defend it at all points. This is crazy. This is Sparta! I have a lot of stuff at him, too. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to piggies here. I might be able to defend this. If I can, I can win the game. So I'm going to have to go in for arrows. I got arrows on the piggies because he's going to earthquake me. I need to get more damage. I need to get more damage. I need to get the value. Please let me three crown you. No way! <laughs> all you can do is laugh, and I can too. Like, I... Totally thought I lost that game, guys. It's going to be like, oh, we ended up a loss today. But no, we, we won a lot of games in a row, destroying that P.E.K.K.A. player and then wrecking that guy. Currently 6,000 in the world with the memeiest mirror deck you guys could ever imagine. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an amazing rest of your day.